Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really fun gift ideas using your stamps and shrink wrap. So many of you probably <laughs> would have remembered melting crisp packets and you can melt other plastics as well. Some of your plastic that, you know, maybe your fruit comes in, like a, your grapes come in, like the punnets and stuff, those boxes. I, some of those plastics do shrink, but I don't really know too much about that so you'd have to look into that further but I'm using shrink plastic I will show you the ones that I've used I've made this lovely ring absolutely oh love it so much and then I've made this key ring so this is using clear shrink plastic this one's using white it's not so much my favorite one that one you can see it probably better there so it's just matte white and then these are on like a more of a cloudier style love the dragonfly earrings think they look really nice and these bears here as well. So the stamps I've used for the dragonfly was this one here, which was an old creative stamping from March, 2017. And it was this here. So you can see the difference in size. They say they shrink by seven times their size. I'll show you the other ones through the video. That one is a doodle that I've done myself and I'll show you that one as well. It's really easy to do. It's a nice way to make some homemade gifts and just make something nice for yourself as well. But uh, yeah, let me crack on and show you how to do it. Okay, so I've got three kinds of shrink wrap here. Now, these ones were the ones that I picked up when I was living abroad. These are from a shop called Daiso, and I have the white shrink plastic and the clear shrink plastic. So that's how the clear comes out. That was the one I used, so it is completely see-through. And then the white one is exactly that, so you have this here. But it's gone, if anything, it's like a little bit grey, just a little bit, I don't know, I'm not massively keen on that. Out of all of them, I actually prefer this one here, which is a little bit of both. So it has a slightly cloudy background. And this is the one I picked up from the charity shop. I will share any links, it's by Fun Stamps. But there's loads of shrink plastics, but it's better if I get a, a coloured piece of cardstock here. But it is like a slightly cloudy, but still clear it's just it's not like that one you can see just how white that is and obviously just how see-through this one is here so that's the one that I prefer out of them all I will share you know the best ones that I can find for you so what I want to do first of all is just show you how much these shrink down so on this one here it says that it will reduce in size by seven times smaller so just to kind of give you an idea of exactly what that is this is the stamp that I used for this one Okay, so you can see how it started and then how it ends up. Okay, so it depends what kind of result you want. If you want something quite big, like keyring kind of size, then you want to go for something that is large. So this stamp is five and a half, five and three quarters um, by three and a quarter high. That's inches. So that's that one. And then for the ring, because this is one of my biggest stamps that I have, and this is that indigo blue one. And you can see, sorry, it needs cleaning. You can just see how big it is. And this one is six inches by about five, the largest point there. You're looking at about five and a half, and that will give you this. So you can see the difference. Now the nice thing about this is when you color them, it's very light, but once it shrinks, obviously the color is just so vibrant. And I'll show you the markers that I've used. And I just think it looks fantastic. Really, really pleased with that one. So I do like the larger ones. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna use this, the Pink Fresh, and I think these are gonna make some really nice earrings. So I'm probably just gonna go for this one here. So there's nothing kind of really, kind of I don't know maybe I might do that one but if I just show you this is the one here this was the bear I'll pop it on its thing there so this is the Christmas bear by Simply Creative this is brand new and you can see there the size earring and I think that's a really nice size for an earring so this measures two and a quarter by one and a half okay so this one will be two and a half by three so it's gonna be a little bit larger but still a nice size for an earring so I would say within that three by three kind of size would probably be a nice earring size to pair. So I'm gonna stamp I think let's do let's do let's go for this one actually I'm okay so I'm gonna grab some of the shrink plastic now the other thing with this one that's different to the other two is this has a rough surface and a smooth surface and it's the rough surface that you stamp onto and color onto so it grips the, the pen, the marker. So this is the rough surface. And then on the back, you see it's got much more of a shine to it. So it's the rough surface that you want to stamp onto. So I've got that lovely big stamp here. Pop that onto my 
you can use your stamping platform if you want but I'm just using my acrylic blocks here now um, so it does say to use stays on or fabrico so stays on it is that's what I've got here now generally stays on isn't good for marker pens you do have to be careful when you're coloring I did try using the Nuvo hybrid because that works with watercolor and marker pens but it just bled it didn't have a good finish that one there I haven't tried VersaFine but again that's not marker friendly so I haven't tried VersaFine but um, I'm not going to bother today I'm just going to carry on using this because I know I can get away with it with my markers just by the way that I colour just carefully so I'm going to ink this one up it's a beautiful stamp this one I can't wait to use it on some cards you don't have to worry too much about how black it is because when it's like I said when it shrinks down it, it really shows up so don't worry if there's like a little bit where it's slightly lighter I probably should have used my little foam base but again it will all come together no nope, that's perfect really really nice impression so I'm just going to do that twice because obviously I want a pair of earrings you do want to make sure that you've got it says to cut with leaving a three mil border ish okay so I mean that's that's a three mil border so you can see there you just get a slight little frame around again that one there you could probably see it a bit better the border on that one there okay oh they are lovely these are absolutely beautiful I will link this stamp set and the other ones that I've used as well because this is just um, a lovely set especially for Christmas but also all year round because I am going to cut I am going to color these with Christmas colors in mind but yeah you can do anything with these markers I'm using are these ones these are the Spectra Noir Classic and these are the brights so I thought they're going to be great for this so like I said they will go on slightly lighter but then you can see how intense the color is it's so you know well colorful it just it, it does really sh show you can see there just how lovely that pink is so I've got the set like I said these are the brights and these are permanent markers you do want a permanent marker so it says I mean yeah, I guess you don't want to use a pencil because that's just not going to, it just won't, I imagine, stick to it. But could you use any other kind of pens? I can't see why a felt tip wouldn't work. So, I mean, you know, play around, have some fun with it because it is, it's, it's quite addictive actually. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do reds, pinks and some greens because we've got quite a few different layers. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with red on top. Let's do this one here. So don't, I mean, I found that leaving it to really dry and it didn't really bleed with my marker pen but what I'm doing is I'm not really touching the black I'm just kind of yeah because it's almost like there's a fiber layer so the the color really does grip to it so you can see it's pretty bright now but once that shrinks down it looks even better zoomed in there a bit closer so you can see so I'm going to color this in you can do whatever you want you don't even have to color so it's entirely up to you Okay, so I've coloured them in, so I've got a mix of greens on the leaves and then I've done the red, pink and red. Hopefully once that shrinks down that's really going to show up. So now I'm just going to cut them out. So like I said, it does stay, it does say that you want to leave at least three mil. One thing I would say is this stuff, if you go in to too much of like a, a tight point, you'll get a bit of a, I guess it's hard to explain what I would say it is. It's just, it kind of stretches the plastic. So, for example, if I just do, if I just show you here, like if I go right in really tight like that and then come back out, can you see it kind of like snaps into it? It like um, causes, causes like a little shard to like crack in. Crack, that's the word I'm looking for. So you kind of want to not have that. So just try not to do your angles too tight. Keep it quite yeah just make sure it kind of flows quite nicely really so I'm just going to go around there you can see the border I mean is it three mil I don't know but you just want to make sure you've got some kind of consistent frame there around it all
Okay, so I've cut them down. So now I want to decide, I know I'm having them as earrings, but you know, if you want to have them as a key ring, a charm, whatever like that, you just need to decide where you want to have the dangle to kind of start. So I am going to have them, I think, hanging down like this. Let's just see what that side looks like. See, that could look quite nice and have that kind of in towards my ear, or do I want them sticking? No, I'm going to have them out actually. So I'm going to pop my hole. Now with the crocodile, you've got the smaller one and then you've got the larger hole. So I'm going to go for the smaller and I'm going to pop a hole just there. So you can see where I put my hole, just there. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of roughly line those up. Okay, so that's all done. Okay, now these ones you can use in the oven, and that's how I used to do my crisp packets. We used to shrink them down, make little key rings, but you can also, also use your heat tool. So I'm gonna get that nice and hot. I'm gonna turn the sound down. I'm gonna hold this down with the pokey tool. Now it will all screw up into a ball. You'll think it's all ruined, but then it will eventually flatten back out again. And as it starts to flatten out, I then put this clear block on it, just for literally a few seconds, and it will just make sure it goes nice and flat. And that's what I've done with this. You can see there how nice and flat the ring is. And again, with the star and stuff, everything, you know, it just, I found it just helped it. So I'm gonna get this nice and warm, turn the sound down, and you can watch it come together. Fingers crossed. So literally, I just put this over the top. It won't stick. If it does, it will come straight off, so don't worry. But now, if I turn it over, where's the hole? There's the hole there for the earring. Look at that gorgeous. And it's solid. It dries so quick. It's still warm, but it's completely flat, which I like. But that's the matte side, and then you turn it over and you've got the shiny side, and that's the side that I will have facing out with the earrings. I actually really like them. I think they're gonna look really, really pretty. So let's do the other one. I've just thought they're both going to hang like that, aren't they? Because they're both, the holes are there. So that one, yeah, you don't want to turn it around. So I would have, maybe I should have done that one up that way. So when they hung down, one would be that way and one would be that way. But is it the end of the world? No. So, okay, so this is just my kind of jewellery bit. I've got all sorts in there, but I'm going to use those and these here. So I've got two earrings and then I'm going to have a couple of rings I don't know what size if I do the same yeah no I'm going to go for these ones here if I can find these bits and pieces I will link them it's very inexpensive and like I said at the beginning it's a perfect way to make gifts oh actually that one's too small that must have gone into the wrong one there we go I've lost my other pliers so I'm just going to have to use these with these great big horrible ones so first of all I'm going to add, I'm just going to add the ring and then, no actually because then on the other side I want to add the earring. I got one earring. I think they look really really nice, I'm just going to put the other one on. Okay, so there they are finished. They look really nice. I'm really pleased with how they've turned out. They are perfect for, you know, for giving us Christmas gifts. You can see there just the different looks that you can get. You've got the, just the simple black stamped there to give you those little dragonfly earrings. Then I've done something a little bit Christmassy. I might even put some actual little tiny fabric bows on the top of these ones here. I think they're gonna look really cool. But I think it's a really fun way of using your stamps and to make nice gifts you can make a ring as well. You don't have to have it as big as me. You imagine that one there, that would look really nice on a ring. You know, you could do something creative with that. Even have the little bear on a little ring if you're giving these to your, you know, the younger, younger children and stuff. And then if you just like to make key rings, 
you could maybe have these for your business, your business name on your key rings. And then the white one, like I said, I'm not so keen on the white, I prefer the clear or the slightly cloudy finish that you get. And uh, yeah, there's the ring as well. So I hope you like them. I hope I've inspired you to have a go. I might try this again on the clear, maybe, because when you look at the clear, it is, I'd say, more vibrant than all the rest. I know that one looks quite clear as well, but that's against white. But I think that has a real... Yeah, you can really see the colour on that one. So just have a play around. Like I said, I'll share as many links as I can. I do love my ring. Absolutely love that. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.